I think uh, we did um, a, a nice job with um, the two major drugs that we use in myeloma, botezomib and lenalidomide. We have uh, uh, two uh, papers in real-world evidence. The first one with botezomib is a big one. Uh, it was a multi-European uh, uh, center uh, uh, study, observational study, and we managed to confirm that um, the, what the big trials have shown, that botezomib is one of the major drugs for myeloma uh, treatment, both at uh, diagnosis and also uh, at relapsed refractory setting. But the most important thing, I think, is that uh, it is a drug that can be uh, readministered to the patient, and this readministration in the relapsed refractory setting can end up with a median PFS of approximately nine months and a very good uh, um, uh, objective response rate. I think this is extremely important for countries that they don't have access to the more newer proteasome inhibitors or the monoclonal antibodies and uh, they can uh, retreat their patients with botezomib. So the real world supports that the readministration of botezomib is feasible and can be a solution for patients with relapsed refractory myeloma in the absence of course of other drugs that are not available in specific countries.